Six cylinder Wolseley. Spot of precision reversing here. Oh, welcome to the old classic car channel now. As you may have spotted, we are quite keen on going out and about in the old cars that we've got here. Um, car meetings, museums, shows, road runs, that kind of thing. We try and fit in as much as we can, especially when the weather is as lovely as it is today. Now there is one evening pub meet that I've been to quite a few times over the years but not so much in recent times and that is uh, it's actually a meeting organized by the VSCC the Vintage Sports Car Club and they have obviously area meetings all over the country and the one we're going to go to this evening covers South Cheshire and North Shropshire I believe a friend of mine is the organizer of this particular meeting and he did make a few noises to the effect that it'd be quite nice to do a video there and I haven't actually featured it yet here on the old classic car YouTube channel I mean the VSCC has been around since 1934 and I think originally it set up to cater for cars built up until the end of 1930 and that has remained the case right the way through till today. There are some exemptions for slightly later cars, the Chrome Rad Austin 7s of the early 1930s, they are included as well, um, but basically anyone can join who has an interest in vintage and pre-war motoring in general, but the sporting events that they organise are restricted to the cars that they have on their list of eligible motor cars, but the evening pub meets like this one generally are open really to anyone who has an interest and ideally owns an interesting old car and that could be a classic car, could be a pre-war car, could be a vintage car or even a veteran even. Um, basically anything kind of goes as long as it is of interest and that is very much the case with the meeting that we thought we'd go over to today. It's a nice little run out and like I said we haven't been for a little while. Um, sometimes the weather's against it and sometimes we've just had other things on. So yeah, we thought we must make a concerted effort to get over there this time. And I thought, well, the little Renault here, the little Renault 750 or 4CV as it was called in the, uh, the home French market, um, that hasn't been out much lately. So I thought what a great opportunity, especially as the weather is so great today. We thought, well, give that one a bit of a dusting down, give it a bit of an airing and head over to the VSCC meeting at the Burt Pour Inn and just see what other old cars will turn up because you know if memory serves we usually get quite an interesting mix of cars there. Like I say it's open to members and non-members this particular meeting. It's a very informal gathering and that's what makes it so popular and with the weather this nice I think we should be set fair for a very interesting and enjoyable couple of hours over at the Burt Pour Inn. So Let's get this out of here, get it cleaned up, it's a little bit dusty, and then we'll make plans to head over to the Burt Pool.
Well folks, here we go. We are in the field behind the Burtpore. Like I say, this uh, meeting is organised by the VSCC, but it's a fairly informal meeting. It's open to anyone with an interesting-ish old car. So Mrs OCC brought the MX-5 because she wants to come and have a look because the pub is undergoing some refurbishment at the moment, I believe. Uh, the little Renault's looking very shiny. I gave it a wash earlier on because it's surprising how dusty it gets even just being in the garage. So I thought I'd treat it to a bit of a bullying up. And it's actually shaping up to be a lovely evening. So just perfect for a little pub meeting such as this. I say little. Sometimes this field gets several rows of cars in it. And of course you never really know what's going to turn up. People have got lots on their plate, especially midweek. Today is a Thursday. This meeting typically takes place the first Thursday of every month although not so much during the winter but certainly when the evenings are a bit longer like they are now we usually get quite a few cars turning up and the first arrival is a Riley RM saloon I can just see another arrival an immaculate MGTC with cycle mug guards and what do we have here a lovely Austin 7 Ruby parked up next to the TC. The TC looks a lot older with those cycle mug guards, but that's what it is, just post war, late 1940s. Let's have a quick peer in through the window. What a great little interior that is, room for four. Isn't it a beauty that? I'll have to watch out. Escort parking up. Here is the meeting organiser in his particularly fine 1922 Aston Martin. Austin 7 Special. Not sure. And that is followed by a very smart Morgan. What a great little Austin. Next to it, the Escort 1300 Sport. Aston ticking over. Hey, bonnet's raised. Let's go and have a quick shuffle under here. Oh, very, very nice. So what we're looking at here, sir? Well, I've just put a new fan on, so... All right. I just what? left it running to see if it's working. <laughs> see if it'll overheat or not, so I want to come a mile and a half. Yeah, there's a little magneto spinning away. Flywheel under there. Elsewhere on the channel, there is actually a separate video all about this 1922 Aston. But it'd be rude not to have another good look at this fine motor car once again. This was one of two cars built, I believe, originally for the TT. That's a great deal of engine. Moto Gutsy. And the mighty Shorrock supercharger hung on the top, fed by this SU carburetor. Here's the Austin 7 Special. Looks like an Ulster type body on it and this pointy tail. Recreating the EA Sports of the late 20s, beginning of the 1930s. What a wonderful machine. Yeah. Wonderful machine. I just caught a glimpse of the shapely form of another Austin 7 Ruby. And this is a lovely, super original little car in green. And this one is a daily driver. From time to time we see this one parked in the supermarket car park or just pottering through town. What a great little car that is. So original. What do we have here? A lovely little Wolseley Hornet Saloon, a little six cylinder Wolseley. Yeah. 
This is a super original car as well. Proper oily ragger. Lovely old press number plates as well. We approve of those, don't we, Hall? Huh? We approve of original number plates. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, super original, isn't it? Running perfectly still. Still running perfectly. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> What's coming in? I can hear something, but I can't see it just yet. Now the bonnet is up on this magnificent Alvis. It is a Speed 20 of 1933, but I've more than that, I do not know. Is that, is, that is quite a cap, isn't it? Highly spotted this magnificent cast, Castrol yeah, oil filler cap. Yeah, like everything on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a heavy car. So you've had this, sorry, you've had this how 55 long? Five years. 55 years. Wow. Well, what yeah. was it like when you found it then? Oh, well, it needed restoration. Right. Was it a saloon or a sporting Oh, no, no, no. Has it, is... it always been yes, this style? Yes, it's always been a okay. tourer. Mm -hmm. Should have swept wings. Mm -hmm. They're at home in the garage. They've been at home for 50 years. <laughs> uh, I paid £98 for out the exchange of Mark. Mm, did you? When I was 26. So it came out on every Thursday, wasn't it, or something like that? Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes <laughs> Like yeah. the auto trade. <laughs> wow. So had you been looking for one of these in particular? Or? No, I was after a sunbeam actually. Oh, yeah? And uh, I failed to find it. Mm. And this came up the following week. Oh, right. Oh. I thought, you stumbled well, across this then, did you? Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So what size engine is that? I mean, it looks fairly... Two and a half litre. It looks bigger than that somehow. But... Well, a sump holds three gallons of oil. Does it? And things like this. Wow. So they, uh... Yeah, it looks, it looks huge. That is just... That is spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> well, so you're just about getting used to it then after 50, 50 plus years then? Well, it's got things like a crash gearbox mm -hmm. and a centre throttle. Oh. The brake and accelerator are swapped. Oh, I, I used to have a Dodge like that. <laughs> yes, it was, <laughs> sort of focuses the mind a bit. Yes, it? yes, it certainly does. Yeah, oh, that's magnificent, isn't it? And what sort of happy sort of cruising speed, something like that? I don't know, really, 55, 50, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's happy at that then. Oh, that's, a, that's a real Bobby Dazzler. I like that a lot. <laughs> Bonnet up on the Wolseley. So it is compulsory to go and have a nosy under there. I'm not quite sure what capacity that is, but six cylinder, Supposedly it's single a SU, or twos, aren't they? Uh, used bicycle oil. Fantastic. This is the car from Ash, isn't it? A Rover Sports Saloon. Morgan three wheeler. Just starting to rain, I think. Isn't that fantastic? The Frog Eye Sprite, the Austin Healy Sprite Mark One. Got MG 1880. Very nice too. Here's the little Austin 7 Chummy that arrived very recently. Got a few Austin 7s here today. This MG CGT will be familiar to regulars on the channel. At the time of recording the Burt Pour In is having quite a significant makeover. 
So this teepee is serving as the bar area for the time being. Those Riley's are nice looking cars. Next into the Burtpore car park, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow One. Very nice too. The evening sunlight capturing it very, very nicely indeed. Making light work of the bumps on the field here. Two Austin 7s but very very different. This was quite early in production, about 24-ish with the, the lamps on the scuttle and alongside it the Ruby which is a much much later so this is about 23-24-ish and that's probably what about 36 or 37 so same engine pretty much although this one I believe has been breathed on a little bit but essentially the underpinnings are very very similar. Yeah, what a great pair of cars. There's that stunning MGC GT, Downton tuned I'm not sure if we've ever actually had a pier inside this one. It is lovely, isn't it? I really like the early um, sprung MG steering wheels. Mm, yeah, definitely. And the early gear knob, you definitely. know, nice dome top. Yeah, it's beauty, isn't it, this? So here's that lovely MG 1880. That's quite a rare car. Occasionally we see a saloon version of one of these down at the VSCC Lowton Park meeting. Oh. Two fine MGs. Very, they're almost the same colour actually. Continuing the Austin 7 theme for this evening. Great little Ulster replica. Look at all that exposed valve gear here on the Morgan. The Lucas Magneto. This lovely little Riley 9 is a Riley 9 Falcon. Apparently fewer than a hundred of these were actually built of this particular model. And as with all the Rileys of this era, you see the diamond of the Riley badge in so many places. Look at the back windows. The How cool are they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is just great. Lovely original condition. Original paint. Lovely original dash, complete with the supplying dealer plaque. Reads garages of Peterborough and just about make it out on the dash there under the wiper motor and this is just super original there are even the remnants of the old white paint on the front of the wings from the blackout apparently you can see where they've been touched in again after the war but what a lovely lovely original car that is Here comes Dad in his MGB GT. Have to watch my toes. A 
love how the radio is set vertically between the front seats. Just got to have a look at that Rover at the end of the row here. This is the Sports Saloon, the very sleek low roof line on the sports models. This is a post-war P3, the Rover 75, clearly inspired by the pre-war designed P2, but these are slightly wider, slightly different cars. When you actually, if you park the P2 next to it, the differences would be quite obvious actually. Yeah, what a handsome looking motor car. This is fully restored by the current owner. And it's just a really beautifully turned out car, real quality car these. Really, really nice. And there's that great little frog eye sprite alongside. This belongs to the gentleman who we often see out and about in his dark blue trove TR3A. It's got a sticker in the back window of this Rolls Royce for the Automobile Club de l'Ouest. The organising club behind the Le Mans 24 hours and other events and that's the same as the badge we've got on the front of our little Renault today. And there is the little Automobile Club de l'Ouest badge on the front of our Renault. And I got this in the mid 1980s when I went with my uncle and gran touring around France and uh, this came from their shop at the Le Mans Museum. It had been in a box for 30 odd years, and then when the Renault came along, I thought this is the perfect car to put this on. Austin 7 and the Motor Gutsy Powered Special are both departing. The other side of the engine bay now exposed on the Aston. It's interesting how it also exposes your pedals when the bonnet is raised. Uh, Mrs OCC is heading back. When he was talking to people, and you, I was down there. You know you scout. So. Yeah. But he can see everybody. This is what I like. Can we? Great little Morgan here. These bonnet pulls are off. And I'll sit up and beg Ford. Well, there have been some fantastic cars here this evening 
at the Burt Pour Inn, a real mixture of VSCC cars and also some later classics just for a bit of added variety. So thank you very much for watching this short video, I hope that was of interest. Please keep an eye out on the channel for more videos just like this, I'll include links to some other VSCC events that we've been to over the last few years, I'll include those links in a moment at the end of this one. And uh, yeah, likes, comments, subscribe, all that kind of thing, and there'll be many, many more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now. spot of precision reversing here don't let mum see that Pretty good. Have a look at those lights again. practice. 